Liar, she said softly, facing the bed. I know you're tired, but we need to plan our next move. We can't stay here any longer. He opened his eyes, but his stare was lifeless, and she wondered how he'd grown despondent so fast. Unless his energetic confidence in the kitchen had been a show for the other daemons? I don't know what to do next, he rubbed his face. We should head into Brinford, I guess. It'll be easier to hide there. We can't hide forever. We need to get your clock spell back. How? He slouched into the pillows. That asshole Eric's could have taken it anywhere. He took it to the overworld. She hardened her voice. Now, quit moping and help me figure out a plan. How do you know he took it to the overworld? Because he's Prince Bastian's bodyguard. He's taken the clock to Irida to give to Bastian. I'm sure of it. You mean the prince who submitted Irida's proposal to Chrysalis? He finally sat up and focused, but his expression was bleakly incredulous. You're saying a ruling family in the overworld has my clock? How am I supposed to get it back from them? She pursed her lips. Well, I was planning to just ask Bastian. He blinked. Eric's betrayed me and, and left me to die. The words caught in her throat and she had to force them out. But Bastian would be horrified if he knew what happened. If I can explain how dangerous the clock is, I can convince him to destroy it. Eric's overheard me explaining how the clock's power spreads, Lyre said skeptically. To him and to your prince, it sounds like a weapon that can wipe out a daemon army's magic. You think he'd destroy something that powerful? If we can explain how catastrophic it could be, he will, she said, burying her doubts. Everything else aside, the most important thing to Bastian is the safety of our people. His highest priority is protecting Irida. Cleo and Cassia had often disagreed about Bastian, but no matter what, Cleo could trust him to put Irida first. He always had and always would protect his people. Not even Cassia would have disagreed with her on that. The challenging part would be convincing Bastian that the spell was too dangerous to use against their enemies. It devoured magic, and the more it consumed, the further the magic expanded in a chain reaction that could spread and spread until it devoured everything. Well, I guess we'll find out if you're right about that. Liar's shoulders slumped. So we need to go to the overworld then. Great. Great.